So it is garage sale season and I am headed out with a friend this morning to a city about half hour away, or town really, and a friend and I are gonna go. My husband, Blaze, is gonna watch the kiddos here at home, so it's gonna be kind of a girl's morning out. But I wanted to bring you along because it's always fun to see different things at garage sales and then do the rest of the day as normal. So let's go out garage sailing. sucker for blue and white those are pretty oh it is ironstone too that's what I thought I have some of these oh yeah I have some of these <laughs> yeah that's fine like the more oval that is heavy but I want I think I want this oh it's a Homer Laughlin of course I want it like oh like the brand the name oh it's really pretty oh. Oh, of course, this is Norman Rockwell. That's really pretty. Yeah, if you dig, I've noticed they're kind of buried. These are cute. Oh, I'm missing a cork, of course. This is kind of cute, but it's not. What? Oh. <laughs> Ooh, I know you'd like those. I do. That's pretty. Too. The rummaging was a bust. I missed the weekend and it was last weekend for this town. So kind of a disappointment there, but we did get to have a really relaxing girls morning. We got some coffee, went to some thrift stores, went to a farmer's market, and I got some plants there that I'll show you. 
found some fun things at the thrift store. We stopped at Walmart and Runnings, got some other plans. Just kind of made a slow, relaxing time though. So it was really enjoyable and I really appreciate my husband watching the girls for the morning. So I'm gonna spend some time outside while the girls are napping and then I gotta work on some supper because we're going to grill some chicken legs. So I need to put some seasonings on those to marinate a little while. So I'll show you the thrift haul as well too with the plants. Okay, so from the farmer's market, we got lavender. We each got some lavender, so excited to have that. I'll have to bring that in every year because we are too cold for it to live outside year round. Same with this bay leaf tree. That was really fun to find, so I'll put that in a pot. I need to find a pot for that too, but I use bay leaves in everything and it smells so good, so I got that. Um, I don't remember what that was, if you can help me. Diane, I don't remember what it says. I can't read it either, so I'm gonna plant it and I guess we'll see what it does. <laughs> and then I got some baby's breath. That is just an annual. I think it won't last year round here either. And then some yarrow, so I'm gonna put that in with my herbs. And then just from um, runnings, I got some cauliflower to put in our aquaponics and some broccoli and then they also had sales on their other plants too here so I got some um, sedum I have some a lot already but my grasses in my front died so I want something else to go up there and then I got this clematis just from Walmart so I am going to put that in right here actually to go climbing up my arch where my rose is on that side and I will have this clematis climbing on that side. So that'll be fun to have in a few years when it's growing really well. So first thing I got was my daughter this fun little patriotic shirt. It might be a little bit small, I'm hoping not, but she's a 4T usually now, but it was really cute. So I thought that'd be fun for the fourth. Then I got these really pretty ironstone shirt, or uh, plates, sorry. You probably saw me pick those up. So I thought those would be fun to hang. They were $3 each, but really pretty little plates there. And they'll be fun to hang plate here and then a smaller one and then another larger there. Then I got this glass snap top bottle for $2. I make my own vanilla and so that would go really well for that. And then I got this large, large serving plate and it is also a Homer Laughlin. That was $2. You can hang those, serve with those. And then lastly, I got this really fun basket. So this was $3 and I'm reorganizing our pantry. So I thought this will go well to put some smaller things in that are kind of loose or put all my extra canning lids or something like that in there. And it's just a really cute, sturdy wicker basket. So that is all I got out thrifting this time. So my recipe that I am using is called the Simon and Garfunkel rug, rub. I found it off of the Meathead cookbook. It's my husband's grilling cookbook. So I've mentioned it before on some other vlogs, but just mixed it all up in there and then got it on our chicken. So we'll have that tonight with some roasted veggies. So my favorite parts of the day are some snuggles with my little one-year-old now. Yeah, can we do snuggles? Can we do snuggles? <laughs> Dump truck, motorcycle, boat, boat, train, choo choo. What do you think, Nevaeh? Is it fun? 
and water. Windy. So we went out to our local lake that we have to register for the marathon and 5K, actually half marathon. My husband's running the half marathon tomorrow and I'm gonna walk the 5K. And then we just walked around and saw the water and got to visit with a few people that we um, knew from the past as well. So now it's time to prep some supper. We're just gonna have roasted zucchini and cauliflower, sweet potato, um, onion. So pretty simple, but a good summery meal. Then my husband will grill those chicken drumsticks on the charcoal grill. Yeah. <laughs> Here's our delicious supper, so roasted veggies. I just had a few extra peas from Nadia's plate. So my homemade sauerkraut and the chicken, that skin looks amazing on there. Yum. So I'm going to leave you with enjoying some of my flowers. My pots are coming in so beautifully and full. I am loving having these. And I'm gonna make another bouquet of flowers to add to our table.